Hello there everyone on YouTube and everyone else on the stream. Welcome to another episode of this uh, Dunland campaign. It's going pretty well, I must say. I'm delighted that I actually started playing this campaign. Mostly because I have very interesting battles, as such as this one that I'm going to do right now. Uh, I wish I would go against Edit Lewin, but honestly I really don't want to mess with them. They have a lot of important I'm units everywhere. They retaken Anuminus, and now I'm ready to go over there. I have decent, sm s kinda decent units, I'd say. There we go. Still producing pikes all everywhere, so that's that's nice. I'm going to send these guys over there. This guy is defending the bridge, and this guy is the one that's going to attack here. Yep. So, as we've stated, there's three Bronze Guards here, and a Gavilgathol Hammer Guard. Now, these guys have shield. They're effective against uh, armor, which is a big problem. You know, the hammer units are very good. These are also effective against armor, you know. The, so, there's a lot of targets here. The Norgurt Pikes... They're as effective as these guys, but they are not effective against armor, so I would need to focus fire kind of like everything. Honestly, there's one, two, three, one, two units. These are guards, these are Velagos. So there's one, two, three units that I don't have to fire, to focus fire, you see? Which is a big problem. Yeah. You know what's not a big problem? When your cat just wants cuddles. It's so cute. Yeah. Cute cat. He's cute. His name is Zerg for everyone that wants to know. Right, let me start deployment. Not the best place for me to attack into. I honestly believe that he will do the attacking part. Like, he will move in against me. Like, there's a way I could go through this area. I could deploy here maybe for the ballistas. And certainly I can... I, over here I don't have even a small clearing. So it, it'll have to be like that. This guy, flaming ammunition. Yeah, I have to go over there and try to get that clearing for me. And if he attacks, this is this is an awful place to be in. Archer units, I'll just go over there. I'm glad that I have these five pikemen because these are the units that will have to hang on. I mean, it's not like these units are effective against armor. If they were, they would be way too effective. So in all for all due accounts, these are the units that I'm relying on to kill, as well as these guys. They're cool. These guys are effective against armor? No, they are not. That's one of the big things. If the champions were effective against armor, it would be so much easier, you know? So let's start the battle. At least he starts on that clearing. So maybe there's a future here. I know that he'll try to move in. Yeah, there we go. Maybe these guys will lure them into attacking, which would be great. Yeah, at least this sounds like a decent uh, plan and a decent position. They can't even flank properly here, but it's not like they can flank properly there either, you know? That army, if they had any ballistas or catapults, it would be so annoying. Because they would have the very perfect place to attack me into. I'm thinking on trying to lure them out of that position. Like, every single unit there is effective against armor, but it's also armored, which is the only thing that I have going for me. And if I can focus fire at least one of these guys, they'll, they'll probably hit everything around, you know, as well. There's a bronze guard there, there's another bronze guard here. Bronze guards in the pikes, they're the ones that I want to hit, you know. Well, 
Yeah. And this is a lousy place to fire, honestly. So I'd love to, to lead them out of this area, like if they would move over there, for instance. But it's not like I can do that. I cannot engage easily or approach easily there without being myself in the worst part. What if he charges down the hill? I would be dead. Uh, you know, so I kind of have to play the waiting game here. I'll just use these catapults as effectively as I can. So there we go. Let me move these guys here a little bit. That should cut it. And I think the catapults will be able to hit something. They are not. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the, that's the units that I kind of want to hit there. Yeah, that's a unit that I don't, but it's not like I can choose that. So can they hit anything? Yeah, they, they'll be able to hit something as soon as I send them here. Yeah, I think so. I won't tell these guys to move in forward. I just want to see if they can fire. They cannot. Really, it's because of the angle. It's so awful terrain. Yeah, terrain here is awful as it hell. Okay, they managed to hit one. You could see that guy dying. That's cool. That's one less. At least they're already automatically hitting the only good unit. Did they manage to score? Yeah, the tree doesn't count, which is nice. So the ballistas are still gonna hit something. They almost hit that guy. They all missed, which is a problem. Yeah, like I really need these ballistas and catapults to hit as many as I can. That was cool. Okay, they're hitting decently. It's good. They're hitting these guys. They're not hitting those. I mean, these are no good pikes and all of that. The only good thing is that they lack a general, so at least these guys aren't fighting to the bitter end, you know? The bronze guards are gonna get slaughtered there. Oh! This is nice. I'm actually hitting their, their units there. That was a good shot. He's kind of attacking. Yeah, he's positioning differently. Yeah, I think he's moving in. So if he's moving in, I'm going to move backwards a little bit. There we go, let's move me backwards a little bit. Yeah, he is coming, so... Deploy here. Champions, you can go over here. Catapults and ballistas, you gotta move away there. There's, there's no other way, so I'm gonna move you away. And you're actually gonna move here. There you go. Come on, start moving those ballistas and catapults. I don't want to cover here. If he catches these guys up, well then too bad. Uh, they've already done some damage, so I cannot expect too, ma too much more there. Come on, just tell me that he can move. Wish these guys were moving faster. Come on, you don't have to... Th this is the worst part about it, moving these guys. They have to rotate and then they'll move. And they'll screw themselves up. So yeah, this guy won't do too much there. 
It's alright. Arches are buying them some time. Not like it can do too much. I mean, these guys should be the focus fire from the archers. Instead of these swords. Because they ha they lack the shield, by the way. They're very well armored. You know, 30. Well, these guys have only 16. Actually, those are the target units. There we go. There we go. Come on, don't let them attack you. Please. Treaty, please. Come on. Okay, these guys probably will hit these as a gold and stop them in their tracks. So at least I'm feeling quite fine. Added Loon Warriors, Guardians of Pelagost. Let's actually hit the Bronze Guards there. There we go. They managed. That's perfect. These Javelin units are taking Azagol's tomb. And Gabagathol Hammer Guard. There we go. 91, 90. Yeah, they're taking losses, which is excellent. So Wolf Swordsman, I really want them here. I want these guys against the Guardians. There we go. Let's enable the guard mode for these guys so that they won't lose too much. You're hitting the, the guards there, that's nice. So this guy, yeah, I'm gonna hit those bronze guards as best as I can. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go, and now I can hit that. That's good. There we go, let's get those added Luan ones. I mean, he's sending in a lot of pikemen. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send these cavalry around. Actually, you're gonna go all the way over there, I mean. It's much easier. And then they're gonna charge and rinse and charge and rinse and back and forth and charge and that's it. Because that's how you work and that's how you roll. How many men have I lost? 3%. Well, I guess that's a good thing. And I'm also hitting the general now. That's good, I guess. Yeah, for instance, let me put these guys out of the way so that I can start attacking pikes and bronze guards. Let's try to hit that. The reason for that is that that's actually their kind of best. There we go. So these guys are now fighting to the death. That's perfect. Let me tell them to run away. These guys are going to go here, these guys are going to go here. There you go. Watch your fire is doing great. Have some berserkers that are really want to send against these bronze guards. I mean, have to kill something there. Let's go over there. He's probably going to get through over there unless I tr make a very nice charge. So. There we go. Okay, those guys are doing great. Okay, killed the general, and now I'm gonna charge here. So hopefully all of these guys are gonna start... Yeah, there's some Guardians of Pelagos fighting to the death, that's true. This guy that caused a lot of men to die. There we go. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, so there's a bronze guard that is never gonna rout. There we go. Go 
Okay, at least no great pikes are fighting to the death and all. I can just start pursuing these guys. You guys are gonna stop that fire. No longer needed there. Okay, that's bronze guards. That's another bronze guard. Yeah, these wolf spikes, poor guys. There you go. Yeah, I know some of these guys are not routing. Like these bronze guards, they are not routing. There we go. Yeah, I don't want for these guys to, to get attacked there. Let me see, I have some Azagol's Tomb Protectors. I really don't have a good angle to charge any one of these. Yeah, there's some Nogurt Pikes, they're gonna survive there. There's nothing really that I can do. I wish these guys would flee, because right now they're killing more men than I was expecting to. There we go, a good charge that might just lead these guys into fleeing. They severely reduced their... Um, their morale. These guys used to be invincible morale there. Right now, they are not as much. There we go. I think the cavalry has to stop attacking. It's not like they have a good place to... Let's remove those guard mode so that they can actually engage properly. Yeah, these Azagal Tomb Protectors, as you can see, are really annoying. Let's attack these swords. We're actually gonna charge there, and probably this will be over very soon. Yeah, they're slaying them all. 30% of my men killed. It's not a bad outcome. Can still reinforce these guys easily, but you can see how difficult these units are. You know. this is a great Actually, ended up losing only half of those because a lot of units got healed up, especially the pikes, which is so important, and some berserkers as well. Very decent, very decent. So still have very good units to hang on here. That's cool. I uh, could send this army over to Anuminus. I guess so. I guess I can give that to, to my chieftain and stuff. And I can just gather them up while the other armies are defending there. So execute them all. That's a good deal. Your enemies lie defeated. Yeah, I think so. I think I can move it all to a Numinous. Yes. This guy will move in over there. This guy is going to move in over there. Continuing tomorrow. Orders. Yeah, what can I give over here in Bree? Hey, I can recruit these guys. That's for sure. Can give him yet another ballista, which is excellent. That's cool. So it seems like he's gonna send one army there, which is perfect for my plans. Over here I gotta check how are things. But for now it seems like everything is perfect. I'm gonna be able to siege Moria there without a th uh, a problem. Yes. This guy is going to reach we this in two turns and then goal. probably attack this stronghold. I don't know if I'll need that one. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to need that army. But as soon as the fold book falls in the, in the Hornburg as well, uh, then I have a free attack on Rohan's capital. And after I've conquered it, I'm going to stop. Like, I'm going to stop here so that, you know, Mordor can clean up everything that they have.
Probably they are under attack in many places already. They have good units, but not as good as I have, you know. Yep, like this army alone can deal with that. Yes, my lord. And I'm still getting reinforcements to all the fronts. Yes, my lord. So that's cool. So yeah, that'll be on the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.